What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be making an upbeat trap melody from scratch. So if you're ready, let's get right into it. Hey! Alright, we're going to start with the piano instrument because I feel like it's always good to make melodies on a piano. Um, I'm going to shoot for like one, let's go for like 152 BPM. It seems like an odd and unique tempo. It'll be a little more upbeat. And uh, let's just go ahead and make a MIDI here. Now, I have Ableton 11, so I have this scale highlighting for me automatically. Otherwise, you can use a scale MIDI if you don't have 11 yet. And there are free ones in the description of this video. You can go ahead and download them. Um, they're on my website, free download. I'm going to use like an F major for this. Turn off this obnoxious metronome. And let's uh, take these middle notes. We're gonna boost it up an octave. We're gonna take this one out so that this is different than this one. Take that out right there. actually make sure that note's over there. We're also going to make some bass notes out of these as well. Now that we got some basic chords written out, sounds pretty decent. I'm going to go ahead and find a different instrument to use and a different sound altogether. All right, let's use that little bell sound. Now let's go back in here. And we're going to go ahead and add some notes to kind of fill it in, make it a little more pizzazzy. Pretty much just kind of follow the same thing, maybe switch up a little bit on this last part. Just gonna double up all these bass notes because it sounds kind of cool. Let's see how it would sound if we put it down one octave here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn all the blasts down a little bit. We're gonna do this randomization thing. Probably put it like right around 20. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of move all of these off grid just a little bit here. Thank you. 
20% here of his halftime on one fourth. All right, I think we need to find like a little bit of a saw slash um, synth that we can use to go with this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get rid of all these top notes here. And I'm going to put all these back on the grid. And then I'm also gonna stretch these notes out. In fact, you know what, we're gonna get rid of these ones. And we're gonna raise these up an octave. Let's use this. I want to make sure this is the best octave for this though, so let's go ahead and play with them a little bit. Fix some of the velocities because like they sound really sharp when you go to high on them. Change up a little bit. All right, let's finish adding the sauce to these different instruments now. For this pad, let's go in here and EQ it really quick. I don't really want it to have much lows, obviously, and I don't want it to have much highs. I just want it to be a little body that stands in the background. <laughs> just a little body. Um, and then we're also gonna put that cassette on here. Where is it at? All right, and the flute, we're gonna do some magic to as well. I'm gonna throw an effect track on here. We're gonna add our own effects. We're not gonna use a filter though. We're gonna all start with the pan man. We're also gonna add a tremolator just to give it sort of like a gated effect, make it kind of give it some more flavor, like da 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 da, you know, give it that little accent. So let's see how that works. Let's put an RC20 on after it. Turn the distortion off, the magnetic off. Let's mess with the wobble. Okay, so now we got all the effects added on here. The last thing that we're gonna do is just go ahead and put these in the right zone. So we're gonna use a Waves plugin for this. I'm gonna use the S1 Stereo Imager. I'm just gonna place everything in the right imaging field. So the flute's gonna be up in the front. So I'm probably gonna put this somewhere like 1.9 to two. And then we're gonna build everything off of that. So the thing behind it is gonna be the bells. Bells, I'm gonna probably put like 1.7. And this pad's gonna be in the back. Let's see how it sounds. I'm 
We'll do like a 1.37. All right, guys, so that is how you make an upbeat melody from scratch in Ableton. As you saw, it only took a couple different instruments, and really, we copied over some of the notes that we used, right? Because the bell and the pad were the same notes minus the top notes we used in the bells. So it was really simple, and then the flute is just descending in order. Pretty simple to put together. Really, all the sauce comes from the different plugins that you put in there and how you use them and how you fill the stereo space with them as well. So I hope you guys like that one. Make sure to smash the like button if you did and subscribe to the channel if you're new here because we're uploading videos all the freaking time that you're not going to want to miss out on. And besides that, I'll be catching you guys again in the next one. Peace out.